guys welcome back to my channel this video is gonna be a shop my stash for uh, probably two weeks three weeks um, I'm gonna go ahead and go through the products that I had in here for um, I think it's been almost three weeks and then uh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna pull out um, probably pull a lot of this stuff out there's some stuff that I just put in here today or yesterday I haven't used them yet but I knew that that's what I'm gonna use next um, like in rotation like mas mascara wise um, I try not to open all of my mascaras at once I just try to keep two or three open max so I um, I did that and I want to tell you about it so uh, we're gonna go through this stuff and then I uh, I'm gonna put stuff away and then I'll show you um, we'll shop my stash for new items to use um, I'll do swatches at the end of the video like always so if you're interested in this keep on watching uh, if you're not subscribed yet I would love it if you do subscribe and if you enjoy it you like shop my stash videos please go ahead and give me a thumbs up uh, it really helps out my channel now let's go ahead and get into it I'm excited uh, I had a really good shop my stash the past week um, or this past time it was a really good shop my stash I really enjoyed pretty much everything that I pulled in there was nothing that I was um, frustrated with or had to work hard with but I'm gonna go ahead and recap those to you and then um, let's let's do it uh, for Huda Beauty for powder I had the Huda Beauty pound cake uh, I do really like it I have to be careful when I use this guy I have to use kind of like a hydrating concealer if I use a concealer that's too matte it kind of gives me a lot of texture under my eye um, which is something I don't really like uh, but with a normal Normal, like hydrating concealer like the camel hydrating concealer it worked really fine I did test it out like the one I'm saying it really gave me texture is this concealer I use the Ulta Beauty full cover liquid concealer I wasn't sure if this is something I want to keep in my collection or declutter so I used it and then I set it with this guy and that's when I had really bad texture I think it's mainly the concealer because when I use this with anything else I'm fine I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out I, the smell is overwhelming but I kind of got used to it and I do really like it that's coming out the hourglass uh, luminous light powder I, I just love this guy it's my favorite finishing powder I am gonna go ahead and pull it out um, pull a different powder in this time around uh, I think maybe I'm gonna try and pin this guy next year who knows uh, Catrice prime and fine mattifying powder this was okay I did a decent job like uh, setting my my foundation um, I, do I really need a mattifying waterproof powder? No, um, my skin has been pretty normal, especially now that I don't wear my makeup as long as I used to. Like maybe I get six hours maximum of it. I don't need something like this, but it's a nice option to have. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. Uh, the Kat Von D Lock It Powder. I told you guys last time, okay, I have two of these. I kinda need to try it. And if I like it, great, I have two. If I don't like it, tough shit, I have two. Uh, I actually liked it I used it to set under my eye um, to set under my eye I do really really like it but to set all over my face I think it's the size of this guy is just so small I like have to dump it on like a plate or like a, some sort of palette something so I can pick it up um, I didn't like it for all over my face I I just I didn't I liked it under my eyes and I just thought it's so little and so cute it's perfect for under the eye so I'm gonna go ahead and do that use it and keep it in my collection uh, Laura Mercier big blush bronzer in ritual uh, I did use this guy maybe like two or three times I, I I like it because it's convenient I don't have to use a blush and a bronzer I just grab for this guy I apply it and then I put a highlighter on and I'm good to go I do really like it I hate the bulky packaging like I hate that uh, Fenty Beauty the cream bronzer I think I do want to keep this guy in here because I did really really like it uh, my favorite way to apply it I tried it a couple different ways like I tried um, uh, dipping my sponge in here and like applying it to my face then it's too sheer it's the kind of product it's already like I don't want to call it sheer but it blends out and shears out really nicely so to use like a sponge to pick it up it's too too sheer it's better if I like use my finger dab it on my face those spots where I want it and then blend it out um, like slightly with my with my finger and then we'll using a sponge to kind of like even it out that's the best way and I do like it and I'm gonna keep it in here um, so 
a pure Barbie highlighter. <laughs> One day my son wanted to uh, pick out my makeup. I'm like, okay, what do you want? He was like, he really wanted me to use this guy. Uh, he really, uh, I, I think he's a sucker for the packaging like most of us. So uh, I did use this guy quite a bit actually and it's beautiful. Like I'm so happy to have it. Uh, this shade is definitely has chunks of, not chunks of glitter, but it's glittery, but it's fine. I mean, I, I, I do really like it. And when I think about Barbie, I kind of think about glitter for some reason. Uh, Fenty highlighter in Girl Next Door and Chic Freak. I actually got quite a bit of use out of this guy this time around. Usually when I pull it in, I only use it like one or two times. Um, but I did get quite a bit of use out of it. I finally dipped into this shade and actually use it on my cheekbones, not just swatching it. I do really like it. Uh, I have to use a special brush with this guy because I feel like some brushes kind of give me heart pan. Um, so it's staying, uh, it's not going anywhere. And now the biggest surprise was this guy, the Bare Minerals uh, Pure Radiance. This is absolutely stunning. Um, I have a feeling that I've pulled it in previously, not that long ago. It's so beautiful on the skin. I just, I have to show you a swatch. It is absolutely stunning on the skin. Um, it's so like subtle, but blinding and um, doesn't leave much texture on the skin, doesn't emphasize any texture. I did really like it. Okay, trying to get a little bit more light in here. It's, uh, it's getting a little bit later in the day and not too much sunshine. I'm so tan. I can't believe how tan I got for really not going anywhere. <laughs> it's good because now I can use my deeper foundations. Uh, for Natasha Denona Duo Glow uh, Blush, the shade Alba. Is it Alba? I want to say Alba. Yeah, Alba. Um, this guy is really beautiful. Uh, I, I cannot use a highlighter the same time I use it. It's just like a one-step thing, uh, which is fine. It does have a really nice um, shift. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that guy out. Uh, Bobbi Brown, another really beautiful blush. And this is, it's called the Illuminating Bronzing Powder in the shade of Santa Barbara, but this is definitely a blush for me. It is absolutely stunning. I do really, really like it. Actually, this kind of reminds me of a blush that I've been considering decluttering. Let me go ahead and grab the other one. This is the other one that I'm considering decluttering. This is the Maxi Blush by Rimmel, and this is the shade uh, 001 Third Base. And maybe the Bobbi Brown is a little bit deeper. But these look, I mean, they kind of both have that golden a little bit. I do have to build this guy up a lot when I do use it, because otherwise it's too light. Uh, I guess not really the same. This is more on the pink tone and this is more like warm. This is neutral and this is warm. Uh, I, yeah, I uh, I don't know why I had to show you this. Uh, this guy, it's been like it was on my chopping block and I used it today and I was like, um, okay, I don't know. And then my friend is like, you have better. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this guy. It's, it's been put in my, uh, you know, shopping block door. But anyways, uh, this guy I do really like a lot and I'm, I'm kind of happy to do this kind of comparison because putting the two next to each other, I would much rather use this on my face than this just because I lean definitely more yellow warm tone. This would flatter me a little bit more than this one. So uh, into the Eternity Electric Wonder ir Iridescent Powder by MAC. Um, this is again something that I kind of like a one a one step use, you know, uh, a, a, a blush and a highlight all in one, even a bronzer if I really don't want to reach for a bronzer. It's beautiful and I'm keeping it. My, my arm's a little wet. It's not as intense as it looks here. Uh, melt. Oh, this guy is so pretty. The shade uh, is Honey Thief Blush um, and the shade is Honey Thief. It's a matte blush for sure, but oh my god, this guy is so pretty. It's like the per the perfect um, peachy blush. Um, the formula is fantastic too. I need to pick up maybe one more of these or maybe it's time I try out their highlighter. Uh, the cream blush by uh, Fenty, the Rose Latte. Again, this is really beautiful and uh, this is definitely a unique product in my collection. I, I think I want to keep it in here for, see it's like, I mean, come on, this guy looks like a, like, I don't know, like 
my the way my my skin looks when I'm really sunburned. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna keep this guy in here, and uh, should we do the Sicily blush? You guys wanna? Okay, I did not use it at all this past week. It was just kind of like, I would open it, I'll look at it, and then I'll put it back in. I think maybe I'm gonna keep it in the drawer. Hopefully I'll, I'll use it once or twice. I mean, when you spend all that money, you should use the product, right? Uh, I did pull this guy in yesterday. I still haven't used it. I was just like, okay, I need to pull it in. And then I do have the bronzer, the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, the airbrush bronzer, and I do have the shade too. Um, it's beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out, um, put it back into my collection and shop my stash for a different bronzer today. Okay. The Natasha Denona face bronze palette. Um, it frustrated me so I went ahead and I returned it to Sephora I really did not want to do that but I did and that's why I pulled this guy in I was like okay I'm gonna need a face palette because I just love having a face palette I put this guy in but again I didn't use it I wanted to to see it so we're, we'll do swatches of this one um, at the end of the video or it's gonna stay in here now let's go ahead and talk about uh, what's in here what I pulled in um, like yesterday today I pulled in I think these are gonna be the next two mascaras I opened this is the it cosmetics superhero I've used a couple of these before I've used a full size of this I've used a couple minis I do really like it and this one I've never tried before this is the Smashbox super fan fanned out mascara so I figured I want to try those two because this one is on its last leg this is the caviar volume by Laura Mercier this is a beautiful mascara but I'm almost like it's almost time that okay it's time uh, to put it away there's still some product that comes out but it doesn't apply as nicely as I used to as it used to and then the other mascara that's in here is the Pat McGrath Labs fetish eyes mascara this um, it's I opened it recently still a lot of product still not flaking on me um, I remember when I used the smaller size of these towards the end it flakes really badly uh, hasn't done that yet so it's it's still pretty good um, let's see same stuff over here my uh, brow pencil oh and and this one the the Mac uh, extended play uh, gig giga black a <laughs> gig lash giga black lash uh, mascara I do like it for the for my lower lash line like the look yeah lower lash line lower lashes okay uh essence make me brow i put this in it um recently after i finished the the abh uh, pomade gel and abh okay and i pulled this guy in today because i wanted to do a purpley uh eye look and this is the bare minerals round the clock 6 p.m i did use it today and it's really really beautiful and i'll show you the one single that i use with it it's really really pretty i i don't know the longevity of it in the waterline um that's where i applied it so i'm gonna have to see how it looks towards the end of the day and then the other eyeshadow that i used today and it was kind of it, it is new like i picked it up recently from those of colors and this is the, their single and the shade is my jam um, it's it's beautiful okay I, I I did use a um a glitter glue when I applied it on my eyes so these two together worked out really nicely I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy back in my um in like in my singles drawer I'm not gonna put it back in my new makeup collection I, I wanted to use it I used it now I'm gonna go ahead and put it away uh, so there's that uh Tatcha the liquid silk canvas I didn't use this guy at all. <laughs> Um, I'm working on a mini uh, uh, primer that I'm trying to just finish up and honestly I've been really loving priming my face with this guy the MAC prep and prime I made a dent in this bottle the this three weeks that I had it in here I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out I, I did prime with this and then I will apply the other primer that I'm trying to finish which is the pores be gone matte primer I'm so close so that's why I didn't reach for the Tatcha so I do want to keep the Tatcha in here um, because I do want to use it uh, for concealers I'm pulling both of these out and I do like both and I'm keeping both this is elf hydro Ca hydrating camo concealer I do have the shade medium peach it seems to be a really good match for me and then the meet your hue dose of colors concealer in the shade 11 which is light medium 
uh, it's a little bit light so um, I kind of like have to use uh, a little bit deeper concealer to cover under my eyes and then use this to kind of like highlight but man one dot and it's like su very super full coverage I wish it's just the right shade then it would you know I wouldn't need to use another concealer with it um, my MAC paint pot and this artist couture that I was trying to use it 20 times this year and I've been failing with it so there's that and then Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue. I, uh, it leans a little bit yellow, so it's kind of good for me at this time of the year. Uh, it's the shade 116 Light Medium. And I do believe that it was supposed to be a neutral, but it's still like a yellowish neutral. So I did really enjoy it. Definitely a, a full coverage concealer. And the Urban Decay Stay Naked, one of my favorite conce uh, concealers. Foundation, did I say that? I mean, I do. this was a foundation. I do have the Dose of Colors concealer. Whew, okay, uh, I think this is a product that I do want to pan next year um, and it's like the perfect shade for me right now 50 WY which is my tan shade or like my self tanner natural tan um, so I do want to go ahead and pull it over I'm going to keep it on my vanity um, to just like get some more use out of it because it's just the perfect time I've made a good dent in it and it would be nice to finish this guy next year so it's staying on here it's not going back into my collection it's staying in a spot where like I know I, I, I want to finish that product at some point so let's use it more uh, for eyeshadow palettes the Natasha Denona bronze palette um oh, stunning it's so beautiful uh, yeah I do have a lot of neutrals and I always buy neutrals but that's I, I mean I love it it's beautiful so easy to work with um, I can just do like two shades and I'm done I can do a single shade and I'm done um, coming out I do really like it I liked it a lot more than the the, the, the face palette with the face palette I had a really hard time with the highlighter the cream the bounce cream highlighter and the blush they just kind of like did not show up on my face I don't know I had to return that guy and the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette this is divine rose too I think it's divine rose too mothership too yeah divine rose too um so pretty kind of like the formula of the mattes in here more than her other palettes like I have the five I have two and five or three and five I do like this one the formula of the mattes better in here this shade is absolutely stunning this shade is stunning um the only one that I didn't choose was this one over here but I'm fine I'm fine with that I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy back into my collection and then we're gonna pull something else the other eyeshadow palette that's in here is this Smashbox drawn in decked out cover shot um, sultry eye palette I liked it I, I there was nothing wrong with it the formula was good the shadows performed well when swatching it, it kind of looked patchy um, but it looked really beautiful on the eye I was I thought I was gonna declutter it but I think I'm gonna hold on to it because again like I had no problems blending the shadows the eye look looked beautiful so I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this guy and then like always we do have all the lip products in here we'll do swatches of those because I tried to keep my lip products in for a full um, for a full month because I'm doing that lip roulette um, the only two that were not in the lip roulette are those two besame ones but I use which one did I use I think did I use red velvet or besame yeah I use red velvet this is the one I use it's definitely a little deep so this is probably the one that I'm gonna go ahead and put away this time and then uh, it's perfect for like winter I'm gonna keep this guy I haven't used it yet and this is victory no based on a red which one is this red velvet is the one I'm gonna put away and I'm gonna keep the base on my red and then we'll do the lip swatches at the end when we bring in all the other stuff I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away off my table and then let's go ahead and shop my stash for items to use I don't know for two weeks three weeks hopefully only two weeks let's do that alrighty you guys let's go ahead and shop my stash for new items uh, this is my new makeup drawer uh, one of them <laughs> I think from here I did go ahead and pick up that new foundation by ColourPop uh, the pretty fresh foundation the hydrating foundation and I got it in the shade light 70 W I figured um, it would be nice if it actually matches me in the summertime I don't know I haven't chosen it yet so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this guy in uh, I think um, lip stuff should we pull in 
let's try this guy. This is the Shiseido uh, like lip gel thing. What is it? Shimmer gel gloss. I'm going to pull this guy in since we already pulled one lip item out. So we'll pull that in. For concealer, I think I'm going to go ahead and use this guy, the Kosas uh, Super Creamy Brightening Concealer. And I got the shade 04. I don't know if it's going to match or not. At Sephora now, like you cannot swatch things. So when I returned that Natasha Denona palette, I picked up this guy and uh, Cinema Secrets, uh, like a brush cleaner so we'll see how that's gonna if it's gonna match or not uh i did get this in ipsy i think it was an ipsy but i think those are the new um uh, the balm products, they're like uh, clean, recyclable, doesn't have a magnet, or the pan pops out so it all recycles basically. And I think this this is one of the shades that are in their uh, four pan uh, palette. They call it a blush, but this looks kind of like a highlighter. I'm going to go ahead and pull this guy in. It looks really cute. I really want to try it out. Okay, I think this is it from this drawer. Let's go ahead and go to the next drawer down. Okay, this guy is also new makeup. Um, um, from here, let's see, what do I want to pull in? I think I'm going to pull in this Glam Light Street Taco eyeshadow palette. It's like, I saw it and I thought it was so cute. I'm not really into like food themed palettes and I figured, okay, these are kind of like, okay, cute colors. Uh, might be a little too bright, but I'm going to go ahead and pull it in and then we're going to pull in a, an older eyeshadow palette. But I do want to pull this guy in. Uh, I do, what else do we, what else can we pull in from here? How about we try this guy? This is the Bare Minerals Bronzer and this is the shade Warmth. I know I really like the shade Warmth, the loose uh, formula. I haven't tried the pressed one. So I'm going to use this guy. I'm going to pull this one in. Uh, primers. I pulled in this, I did purchase this guy uh, for 50% off from Smashbox. The Mindful 5 is supposed to be a priming serum. I kind of want to pull this in or I do want to pull in, uh, let's see. <sighs> Really considering this one, the Smith and Colt uh, Black Drop Mattifying Face Primer. I think I e either this one or this one, the Tarte Quench Primer. So, mm, maybe since the foundation is uh, hydrating. Hmm, what should I do? What should I do? Um, let's try this one. Smith and Cult. I really wanted their foundation and every time it goes on sale I'm like should I get it should I not get it let's try it and it's a mini or the other thing that I could try and it's something that I wanted so badly is this jelly pop I'm gonna do this jelly pop do primer by elf I wanted this guy so badly so I should try it right isn't that the natural thing to do um where are those oh two glosses hmm Tower 28 gloss. Let's try it. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this guy in. Tower 28 shine on uh, lip jelly. Ooh, I have both lip jellies, and this is the shade spicy. I'm gonna do this one, and I know I want to use this guy because I want to use it up. This is the Bare Minerals Dew Mist Setting Spray. It's not much in here. I think I could use it up, so I'm gonna get this one. Oh, uh, this is a nice matte blush. Let's do it. Why not? It's tiny. Let's do this guy. It's also by the balm, and this is Girl Power. I think that's it from new stuff. We're gonna go ahead and uh, shop my stash for other items. For a setting spray, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull in. Uh, I'm gonna pull in this guy. This is Catrice Long Lasting Prime and Fine Multi multi talent fixing spray i've only used their dewy one um let's try this guy i've never used it before i think i'm gonna go ahead and do that uh, i think i'm gonna go ahead and skip the primer drawer because i do have that i pulled in the elf one i have the tatcha from last time and i have the one that i'm trying to pan so i think we're good on that eyeshadow palettes the old eyeshadow palettes uh, I'm not sure what I want to use. <laughs> I did pull in a few palettes from here. I think maybe I pulled out like 10 eyeshadow palettes that are, I, I, I need to declutter them. I wasn't sure if I should film a declutter video because I, maybe I don't declutter enough. I don't want people to like hate on it. 
Um, I mean, I spend my money on it. I don't want to get rid of stuff that I still like and I still enjoy. But on the other hand, I don't want to hold on to stuff that I don't like anymore or I don't reach for anymore and then just feel guilty not filming it. And I, you know, so I don't know. I pulled 10 out, maybe 10, maybe more. I'm not sure. I pulled some stuff out from here. Uh, from what's remaining, I kind of am leaning towards uh, pulling this guy in because I just have the bronze one in there. This is the Sunrise palette by Natasha Denona, and I do I know I do really like it. The other palette that I have is really bright and colorful, um, and this is kind of like in between. I mean, it does have the pops of berries and all that. So I think this would be one of the options. And then the other option that I do want to pull in is I, I want a little bit more neutral palette. Um, I remember loving this guy. I know it, it wasn't there not that long ago, but it was it's beautiful. It's just so grungy. It's either this one or um, one of these guys. I don't remember what I thought about... Uh, the peach one by Too Faced. I remember I used to like, this is the one I used to reach for when I needed to do my photos, you know, like any sort of photos and I need an eyeshadow palette reliable. I used to reach for this one. It's either this one or it's been a long time since I played with the cherry one too. Um, hmm. uh, should I do... They're both too many options. Like, I mean, because this has a lot of options in it too. Let's see, how about a NARS one? I like those. I really like those. Maybe I should do a NARS. It's been a long time. It's either this one or this one. And this one has like face products in it too. Oh, but that's berry as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stick with this one. NARS Narcissist, the Wanted palette. I'm going to do these two. So, I'll have a good variety <laughs> this time around. All right, so for foundation and concealers. Foundation and concealer, foundation and concealer. I do have that hydrating one. We pulled that guy in. Um, my other choice was to pull in these two, the Physician's Formula. I know they're just, they discontinued them. Um, I do have a pretty nice dip in this one. I do like them. Mine says it's expired. Oh, well, hopefully it doesn't break me out. Maybe just the SPF that expired. Anyways, uh, this is MN3. I think it probably is a good match. I know they oxidize pretty badly, and that's why I have a lighter shade, because I can kind of, like, tone it down. Um, this was one of my choices. The other choice that I had was this one. This is the Hourglass Vanish Concealer, the Seamless uh, Finish Liquid Foundation in the shade Nude, which is a perfect match for me this time of the year. Or pulling in the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation um, with a face and body. This is too yellow on me and this is too pink. I love this stuff, the MAC Face and Body. Um, this is the pearl one. So mixing the two would, I, I could customize and make my own um, shade and then it wouldn't be so full coverage because this is pretty light coverage. I don't know what to do. I don't know. Um, I kind of want to reach for this one, pull it in, and hopefully finish it if I just really use it every day. It's not a lot of product in here. It's only 0.11 fluid ounces. Hard to tell what's what, how many mils. So I think I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go for this. Oh, but this guy is a good match now. This end is a way though. I'm gonna do this and wish me luck. Maybe finishing it. For concealer, we pulled in that Kosas concealer. Let's do one more. Um, I do really like those guys. I do like this uh, CoverGirl one. This is pretty full coverage. Um, this I do really like. The Stellar would go perfectly with the Stellar foundation. I need to start shopping my stash more often so I can rotate more often. I think I'm going to go for, is this nude? The sh no, this is the shade Creamy Beige. I think this is the shade Nude, which is really nice at um, covering dark circles. Highlighting, covering dark circles too. Um, I like both. I think I'm going to, I'm going to have to maybe, I think I'm going to have to maybe pull Nude, the shade Nude, because it does have a little bit of a, this is, uh, brand new because I used the one I had before and I, as soon as I finished it I bought a new one um, 
So I, I've used this guy before, just not this specific one. Um, forget it. I'm gonna just pull in this shade, and I feel like if I feel like this one is just not enough, uh, it's not the right color or anything like that. I think it's probably gonna be okay. I'll pull in the other one. So we'll do this guy. Now let's go ahead and do powders for finishing powder. I think we're gonna reach for let's do the Milani. It's been a while. I need to just start rotating these. There's not many of them. Those two are the same shade. I don't know why I have two. The Illuminating Mineral Veil. So maybe I need to dump them in the same one. They're both open. It's like ridiculous, Rania. Come on, girl. Or should I use one of these and try to finish it? I don't know how much is in it. Hmm, it's been a while. Let's do this, actually. I don't know if I'm gonna finish it, but it's been a while since we used it. Let's do this. The, the Bare, Bare Minerals Mineral Veil as a finishing powder. Long tongue twister. Uh, for under the eye, under the eye, under the eye, I think I'm going to reach for, let's do something banana-y, um, let's do flower, uh, beauty bakery, flower, better not bitter in banana, in the shade yellow. I'm going to do this for under the eye, and then for all over the face, how about we do, where's, is this the collab powder? I think maybe we'll just stick with loose. I, um, I'm going to do this one, Set the Stage Ultra Fine Loose Setting Powder. This is by Col Collab. I'm going to do this. I'm totally skipping a pressed powder this time around. Yee! Weird. Okay, now, should we do a face palette? I know I have that trio. Let's go ahead, let's go look at the face palette drawer and see what we can find. Okay, for face palettes, what do we have in here? Um, one. Oh, this was a customized face palette. Oh, what shade is this? Uh, cool med medium. Is this a makeup geek? I totally forgot I have this guy. It's a contour shade. I want to use this. No, I want a ready, ready to use palette. Um, I think. Let's see what we have. What do we have? What do we have? Um. I think I want to do this one, Becca Malika, or, ooh, those are beautiful, the Cali Kissed, oh my god, this is stunning, this guy, oh, how about Janice Equa, I love this one, I haven't used it in so long, I'm going to do this one, yeah. It's been so long. I'm gonna do that one. For bronzers, I pulled the ones out of here that I think I'm gonna declutter. Um, so <laughs> this is stuff that, okay, staying in the collection. Uh, let's see, we have a cream bronzer. I um, And then the bronzer that's in the palette. Let's see, what should we pull in? I think, I know one of these is pretty deep. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, it's stunning. Ooh, I'm gonna do gingerbread man. Gingerbread tan, spicy bun. We're gonna do that one. And then one more. Uh, I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one of those NARS ones. This is my deepest one. This is the shade Casino. And this is Laguna. I'm gonna do Casino. It's deeper. I think it'll match me a little bit better. And my little booger just uh, ran in here. What's going on, baby? So from blushes, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull in. I do wanna get some more use out of this guy. But it's all palettes. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull in this butter blush. And this is the shade Vintage Rouge. I don't remember what I thought of that. I'm going to pull that in. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull in... How about we do the papaya? I'm going to do this guy. Papaya. Papaya. Papaya pop. Papaya papaya. Mm. Right. No, never mind. I'm going to do this guy. This uh, Too Faced Papa Don't Peach. I remember loving this guy. I'm going to do this one. Alrighty, for highlighters. My son is in the room with me, so maybe he would like to pick out my highlighters. Do you want to pick out something for mommy to use? Yeah. Okay, come on, sweetheart. What do 
do you think? Which one do you want? On this one? Yeah? Yeah. Do you want to pick out one or two more? He picked out Becca Shimmering Skin Perfecto and Lilac Geode. I want to pick out two more. Okay. Pick out two more, please, for me. You like that one? Oh, you love pretty packaging. That's why you pick them out. You pick out according to the packaging, don't you? Um, so he picked out Too Faced, Love Light, You Light Up My Life. It's actually uh, one that I wasn't sure. I'm going to do three more. Just give me a second, okay? Okay. Just a second. So this was one that I wasn't sure if I'm going to keep in my collection because I think it's too gold for my skin tone. So I'm glad he picked it out. And then, honestly, I think I'm going to put this guy back because I recently had it in. I want to... Did I have recently this in or did I have the bronzer in? I have the highlight. I think it was the highlighter that I had in. So I think I'm gonna put this guy back because this was in not that long, not that long ago. Three he more. wants to pick out three more. So let's go ahead and do it. Come on, pick out three more, baby. What? Still hold it. I I need to pick more. Okay, I'll hold it. I need to pick more. You wanna see those? Okay. Here's what we have. You wanna get one of these? Mm -hmm. Which one do you want? This one? Okay. Are you going to get any more or are we done? More. Okay. Go ahead. Which one do you want? Ooh, mommy loves this one. Mama loves this one. Are we done or do you want any more? More. Just one. Okay. Only one more. Okay. Thank you, sweet boy. So... Let's talk about what he picked out. He picked out uh, Wet n Wild, the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This is the shade Bloom Time. It's been a while. Happy to use that again. He picked out Becca Champagne Pop. I do have a pan in this guy. I do like it, obviously. So I'm happy with this one. And Persona. Ooh, I love this guy. And this is the shade Zuma. I think this would be perfect for this time. It's a little bit deeper, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and put everything back in the drawer, and then we'll do swatches and uh, show you the lip products. All right, so I went ahead and put everything back in the drawer. Uh, let's go ahead and get through this stuff. Um, the, I, I grabbed a, uh, I'm trying to be a little bit econ economical, earth-friendly, healthy, friend, whatever the word is, you know, uh, environmentally cautious. So I have one of these. I'm like, okay, let's try and see if it actually removes swatches. Give it a shot because the baby wipes did not work. Uh, let's do this. For powders, I pulled in the Collab uh, Translucent. Is it translucent? It's Ultra Fine Loose Setting Powder. I guess it's not translucent. This is in the shade Porcelain Ivory. But it uh, kind of like blends into the skin. There's not really a real color. Uh, Bay Beauty Bakery. Um, Better Not Bitter, the yellow powder. I actually do really like this. I'm hoping to get some use out of it. Really good use out of it under my eye. Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. Uh, this is the Illuminating Mineral Veil. Again, I have two of them. Actually, like, when I try, when I look at this guy, it doesn't look like there's much in it. Maybe, like... I'm down to here. I should try and just finish it. Uh, obviously, I like it since I have two, or at least I think I like it. I don't remember. Uh, for bronzers, I pulled in the NARS Casino Bronzer. Um, it's really pretty. It's a, the deeper shade of the two that I have. I have the Casino and I have Laguna. I am pretty tan. Just keep that in mind. Like I'm really my my uh, my uh, my body is really tan my face is definitely not this dark that's why i need to pull up uh, pull in uh, darker foundations but this is so pretty i love the formula of those things it never looks uh chunky or gross i also pulled in the Too faced gingerbread tan spicy bronzer uh oh, this guy is so pretty um and it's like the perfect shade for me for this time of the year it does have a little bit of glow to it but ah uh, that's adorable uh i from last time i did leave in the cream bronzer um, by uh fenty beauty we'll do a little swatch of this guy hmm. they're all like it's very similar uh tones 
That's good, right? Let's see. Do I have any more bronzers? Is that it? I guess I have the bronzers that are in uh, in these pal these little like the Tarte palette in the and then the cosmetics palette. Uh, my son went a little bit crazy with uh, picking out highlights for me. Oh, we do have this bronzer. This is the shade Warmth by Bare Minerals. I've tried. I really like the shade Warmth, the loose one by Bare Minerals. Um, I've never tried the pressed version. It looks really nice. Ooh, I feels really nice on the skin too. Yeah, so here's that. I, try, I should try and squeeze it in here, but then kind of doesn't fit very well. Okay, let's give this guy a shot. Does this guy really work? What do you guys think? I said use this side to exfoliate. This doesn't feel like any more um, exfoliate-y. Okay, I guess it's not so bad for removing swatches better than using a million other wipes So far so good. I wonder how it works with lipsticks. Okay for highlights. Let's do this. Yeah, and it's not gonna work in there So it's gonna it's gonna move uh, Persona highlighter and this is the shade Zuma. It's a really nice highlighter. It's intense So if you're worried about texture or anything like that on the skin, I'll be very careful with this guy but it's beautiful. Ooh. Man, I need to just hurry up and order the the blushes. Uh, Bloom Time by Wet n Wild. I don't remember what I thought of these. I had a couple of them. And I think they're like their moment is kind of over. Everybody used to talk about these highlighters. As I gotta say, this is a really pretty highlight. It's got a really nice shift to it. I feel like I don't have a space for my arm. It's really pretty. Okay, I pulled, or my son pulled in uh, Becca, this is Champagne Pop. Okay, let's see. Hmm. How funny, it looks very similar to the Persona one. Maybe the Persona is a little bit more on the peachy side. Let's do that. And the light does not really look as similar. It's more champ like golden, well, champagne. It's called champagne pop, Ronya. Come on. And then we pulled in this Too Faced one. Uh, this is the Love Light Prismatic Highlighter. You light up my life. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this shade. I, I don't know what I was thinking buying any of those. There it is. I feel like this is so deep. Um, we'll have to see. I mean, if you got like a deep skin tone, this would be stunning. But on me, even with a tan, I don't know if I can pull this guy off. And then there was one more, I think maybe one or two more highlighters. We've got a lot of highlighters this time around. I'm probably going to um, keep some in here the next time I shop my stash. Uh, this is Becca uh, Lilac Geode. I do really like this guy. I need a little bit more. There it is. Pretty, really pretty. Got a nice variety of highlighters, deep, uh, peachy, pinky, champagne, a little bit of uh, champagne and a lilac. <laughs> so there's that. And then this guy, um, which I pulled in by the balm, this is the Will Powder. It's called a blush, but my I, I'm sensing it's more of a highlighter. And we're gonna put this guy over here. Ooh, that's so pretty. Yeah, it's definitely a highlighter. Um, that's really pretty. I'm excited, really excited. Oh, oh yeah, so they're supposed to like, I guess it doesn't pop out really easily. Maybe it's glued, but you can pop it out to recycle. Okay, now we'll do the highlights that are in the palettes um, a little after we do the blushes. For blushes, again, we have the Sicily blush, and this is um, uh, the shade 3, Highlighter Blush with White Lily. I'm trying to like read the French bar, and I'm like, I'm going to butcher it, so I'm not even going to try. So let's go ahead and do a little swatch of this guy. Oh, it's so pretty. You never want to mess it up. There it is. It's really beautiful coral shade. 
There's that. And yes, we're keeping it in the box. Two Face Papa Don't Peach. Um, I remember like this was the highlighter. I loved it so much. I don't remember what I think of it now. A lot more shimmery than this guy, but they look pretty darn similar. Everything's looking similar to me today. Uh, butter blush in the shade Vintage Rose, I think. Vintage Rouge. Let's see. Looks like a, a very natural, natural blush. Here we go. It's really nice. I wonder if it's going to make me look kind of ashy though. I honestly don't remember what I thought of it when I used it previously. Okay, let's do a uh, Girl Powder by The Balm. Um, does it have a special name or is it, maybe it's, the name is Houston Street. Okay, looks like a pretty shade. Yeah, really pretty. There's that. We have the cream blush by uh, Fenty Beauty, which is, I think for me, it's kind of like a both. That's so pretty. That's I, I still can't get over the fact that it's like so unique in my collection. Now let's do those little palettes or, you know, the face palette thing. We have uh, Tarte and this is um, the cheek wardrobe. Uh, from top to bottom, Snow Kiss, Prize, and Peppermint Mocha. So Snow Kiss is the highlighter. And Prized? Was it called Prized? Prize. And then Peppermint Mocha. Here we go. Highlighter. Blush. Bronzer. Woo! Nice, pretty nice. The highlighter is not bam in your face like all the other highlighters we had at first, but that's okay. Sometimes you just need a little bit of subtle. And now let's do the palette by It Cosmetics, which also has a um, a press powder. This is what is it called? Um, bye Bye Pores Press Translucent Powder. Clean my hand. Huh. Do we need to swatch a press powder? Probably not. I need to try it under my eye. I know a lot of people like the loose one, but honestly, I haven't tried it. I think Bye Bye Pores Blush, Bye Bye Pores Highlighter, Bye Bye Pores Bronzer. <laughs> no, I made all that up. Okay, blush. Oh, that's so pink. Oof, wonder how that blush is going to look on me. Oh my gosh, that's pink. That's like super pink, like a Barbie pink. Oh my goodness. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know about that, man. Here we go. Um, their other palette, not the Je Ne Sais Quoi, the, the one that's round. I love the blush in that one. So there we go. Um, we already talked about the mascaras earlier on. I do, I pulled in. So this is the Hourglass Vanish uh, Liquid Foundation is in here the Tatcha Primer, as well as the e.l.f. Uh, watermelon Primer, the Jelly Dew. I really want to feel the texture of this guy because people were raving about it and comparing it to the Milk um, Hydro Grip Primer, which I did not try. It smells good. Okay. I don't, it's not tacky, which is good. Hmm. Interesting. It smells good. It smells really good. So there's that. And yeah, the Tatcha primer. Uh, I also have the two concealers. This guy is by LA Girl. This is Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige. And the Kosas concealer in the shade 04. I'm not sure exactly what that shade is. Um, for setting sprays, I, I'm like... I had to uh, use this guy, like I dumped a full size bottle in here, I was trying to finish it. There's not much in here. As soon as I'm done with this guy, I don't know if I'm going to throw away this bottle, not throw it away, but 
move it out of here or if I'm gonna continue to do what I've been doing. For illuminating sprays that actually have particles of glitter, I let them settle all the way and then I dump the product in here without the glitter and then I can actually get the setting spray. Uh, I have the Bare Minerals Dewy Mist setting spray. I am hoping to finish this one, um, you know, by the next time we do this film this video so we'll see uh, the other foundation that I have in here is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation this is the shade <clears throat> excuse me light 70W so there's that uh, we'll do the lip swatches a little bit at the end let's go ahead and uh, talk about the eyeshadow palettes okay I have the Narcissist Wanted yeah, Narcissist Wanted. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's a perfect, like, easy, everyday... Oh, my God, that's beautiful. Still, the texture is fantastic. I think I got it about a year ago. Maybe. I, I know, I only swatched, like, the shimmery shades. Still a couple of the mattes. Or one... Ooh. Oh, yay! Oh, look at that. I mean, that's kind of like a Pat McGrath kind of shade, right? It's so beautiful. I'm excited to play with this again. It's been a long time since I actually used it, so that's really exciting. Uh, the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. Uh, this was, um, yeah, I remember this palette too. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, man. I like that they still feel, you know, like... I always I swatch the shades that I knew I used before. I don't know why I always do that. I guess that's what I'm drawn to. Um, so here it is again. Look at that shade. Woo. I'm really excited for this one too, you guys. I know it's not a brand new palette or anything like that, but that's isn't that what Shop My Stash is about? You know, pulling in a little bit of both. And then the Glam Light Street Taco. Look how cute this is. Like, I love tacos. Street Tacos, this is pretty big for a street taco. But I think because they have a bigger one that's like the mother taco, and this is the street taco, I haven't dipped into this yet. I'm kind of intimidated. I never use this much color. Um, so let's see. Let me actually clean up my hand real quick. Let's try this Picante shade. Um... Carnitas. I've never seen carnitas with this color. Limon. And should I do pico de gallo or red onions? Oh, red onions. Because it's so pretty. Ooh, okay. Nice, man. Pretty smooth. Ooh. Oh, wrong finger. We're just going to do it on top of it. Ooh, that's beautiful. Look, shade carnitas. Ooh, wow, okay. All right. Pretty, uh, really pretty, actually. Let's see. How am I going to use it on my eyes? No idea. No clue. No clue how I'm going to do that. Guacamole. I love avocados. Ooh, my gosh. Okay, that's beautiful. Look at that. Damn. Um, okay, pico de gallo. Why not? We'll do pollo and carne asada. Oh, I love me some carne asada fries. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna have to do them over here. That's pollo. Yeah. Mm, okay, carne asada. Um, pico de gallo, oh, another guacamole. Here we go. I like it. Pretty excited to use this. It's definitely gonna push me outside of my comfort zone, color-wise. But um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm excited to try that. So let me go ahead and do the lip swatches, and then I'll come back and show all of them to you. All right. Uh, if you're familiar with my channel, you know my obsession with red lipstick and it seems like the month of July uh, They all decided to come out and play. I mean look at all these reds Not sad about it at all. I'm really happy um, 
yeah, let's get through it. The first one over here, that would be my uh, MAC Ruby Woo, one of my favorites. So over here, right next to it is by Color Drain, and this is the shade Safari Rain. Really pretty mauve color. Uh, right next to it is my Besame, Besame Red Lipstick. Again, really stunning. Um, right next to it is uh, Hashtag Bite of NYC by, by Beauty. So pretty. It's kind of like a, a berryish red and it's really comfortable formula, as you know. Over here is by Bite as well, and this is Glossé. Um, right over here is by Bite, and that's Palm Granite. I think that would sum up all of my Bite lipsticks. Probably all of them are in this uh, in this round. Um, right over here is this guy, which is was um, was it like a reward thing? A twenty-five dollar offer from Sephora. You spend twenty-five dollars, use the offer code, and you get this guy. Um, this is Shiseido mm, Shimmer Gel Gloss. It's, it's really pretty. I do like the gold shift in it. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's really pigmented. So that probably would be really easy for every day. Right over here is by Tower 28. And that's the shade Spicy. Another red gloss. <laughs> right over here is by Pat McGrath. And that's Revelation Red. Um, liquid lip Revelation Red Liquid Lipstick. Right next to it is by Wet n Wild. And this is the shade... Uh, Missy and Fierce, so pretty. And over here is by uh, Elf, and this is the shade Michael. Those are like, uh, I can't remember what type of lip glosses they are. Um, I actually pulled two of them for the month of July. This one and a hot pink one, but the hot pink one smelled kind of funky, so I decluttered it right away. Um, this is the shade Michael. A $2 product. I'm not really upset about it going bad or anything like that. I've used it enough. Right over here is by Buxom, and this is the shade Claire. Stunning. Look at all that gold in there. So pretty. And then the lip liners that I do have for this month, this one over here is by NYX, and this is the shade Ever. Right over it is also by NYX, but this is a retractable lip liner, and that's the shade uh, Nude Pink right here. I think this is it for... Uh, this shop my stash i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and like always if you're not subscribed please make sure to subscribe before you leave uh give this video a thumbs up uh leave me a comment i love to chat with you if you have any questions or anything like that or if you spotted something while i was shopping my stash and you're like oh i wish you would pull this guy in you know like sometimes i scream at the camera please please pull that please open this open this when i'm watching someone else's um let me know in the comments below and I hope you enjoyed my son joining me for a little bit. He pulled out a lot of highlighters. Um, one for each day, <laughs> I guess. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. And see ya. Bye.